This is the Free Computer Consultant. Today I wanted to do a little video on how to upgrade the memory in a laptop. This happens to be an HP laptop, but most laptops are very similar. There aren't very many manufacturers of laptops in the world, and they just get uh, different branding. So a lot of them really are very similar. The first thing we're going to do here, we, we don't have the machine plugged in, but we're going to turn it on its back and we're going to remove the battery just as a precaution so there isn't any power going to any of the circuits. I'm going to show you the memory cover here and here's the little I guess uh, universal icon or emblem denoting that that is the memory access cover. It just has one little screw that we need to take out. Now depending on your model laptop and how much memory it has installed, there may or may not be a memory module in here now. Many laptops have some primary memory, maybe under the keyboard, right on the, on the system board, uh, that really isn't conveniently accessible. It's meant to be left there. Sometimes this will be an expansion slot and you can just add memory. This model actually has some memory already in place. Now most of these will come out pretty easily. You can see there's two uh, beige tabs, one on each side of the memory slot. And if you just carefully move those to the side, the memory module pops up a little bit at about maybe a, a 30 degree angle or so, and it can come right out. Now what you want to do is make sure that you have the correct memory for your machine. The best way to do that uh, really is to uh, not only check the owner's manual of the laptop, manufacturer's recommendation, a lot of times that's hard to find. Maybe the manual has been lost long ago. But there are some ways of finding out the exact memory, getting the best price. I have those detailed on my website at www.freecomputerconsultant.com. And then if you want to go ahead and put in the, the actual page, it's uh, slash memory hyphen upgrade dot html. But the new memory module just slides in, again about a 30 degree angle, make sure it's in uh, evenly across there and just give it a little bit of pressure down and let those clips on either side catch. And after the memory's in, it's pretty simple to just go ahead and put that access door back on. Secure it down in place. Put your battery back in. And then you can plug it in, you can turn it on. Uh, most current machines will automatically find the memory. They may prompt you to go into the BIOS and just confirm that the, uh, the new amount of memory is correct. And you just uh, escape out of that, save it, and should be up and ready to go. Then you can, of course, uh, right-click the My Computer icon or go into the system properties uh, one of a number of ways. I just verify that Windows is actually seeing the new memory that you put in. And that's all there is to it. Please visit my website, www.freecomputerconsultant.com for more information on this, uh, some other videos, and a lot of other good information. Thanks.